Well, hello, I'm Randolph Miller, and welcome to another Bounce Around Charleston. Well, today I have with me Ms. Rosalind Fields. And what is she going to talk about? We're going to talk about Dream Girls. It's, it's a wonderful event that happens every year. Ms. Rosalind Fields, welcome back to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you for having me. Yes, Dream Girls. Okay, tell us about this wonderful event. What happens? Very much indeed uh, an exciting and empowering event that happens that has been happening since 2014 uh, in, the, in the North Charleston area. And we have, we started out with over uh, 1,000 people and we ended up our first virtual conference last year was over 3,000 from over, all over the world. Wow. And so, so where do these young ladies come from? We target those young ladies who are from the minority uh, uh, communities, uh, schools, group homes, uh, churches, sororities. We just don't leave any stone unturned when it comes <laughs> to reaching out to the young ladies. And it's for middle and high school girls, uh, but so many people bring younger girls. And then we have college students that come as well. We find that, that uh, community leaders also gravitate toward this conference because they get connections and they learn about programs and opportunities for their groups as well. Okay, and it's my understanding that you all have an ongoing mentoring program, am I correct? Correct. We reach out on an ongoing basis to local schools and to group homes, churches, and we have mentors that go in and work weekly, monthly with the girls um, in our target area. Right now we're at Deer Park Middle and we also work with Carolina Youth Development Center. We also provide the youth with uh, cultural and educational experiences. We just attended Alvin Ailey with a whole uh, group and they thoroughly enjoyed it. It was an, an experience that they had never had before. And so that's the type of thing. We go on college tours um, before the pandemic and we're getting ready to rev back up again. We take the girls on um, college tours. And what's beautiful is that about it is that the girls come from communities and environments where so many things they didn't think that applied to them or it was possible. And we take them outside and of their community's immediate environment and show them that the world is a big place and the world is ready for them. Well, good. I know that you're already into the session for this year, but what can the young ladies do to get ready for the next one? They can contact us at dreamgirlsus.org and uh, we will get in touch with them and get them ready. Uh, we are planning on having um, one of our keynote speakers who have graced us at Dream Girls for many years, Jackie Bruton. After the conference this year in, in April, we're, we will, we're working with Charleston County School District to have Jackie Bruton to go back into the schools. We serve thousands through the, the assemblies at the various middle and high schools in Charleston County. And um, we will have Jackie back again. We're working on that now for April. So that'll be after the conference where Jackie will be going to the schools and talking to youth. And when the girls come out of this session, what do you expect them to walk away with? They will walk away with empowerment, connections, because we have several resources listed on our website. They will know that other girls around the world are experiencing some of the same challenges that they are. They will also know how to overcome because our speakers are girls that uh, are people who the girls can identify with because these speakers themselves have overcome so many things. And our theme this year is fearless. And we picked that theme because there were so many things that, that could have, that did and it still is causing fear in our communities and across, our, across the globe. And we wanted the girls to know how to conquer those fears. But tell me something, what motivated you to start Dream Girls? 
Well, I grew up downtown Charleston on the east side. They called it the ghetto, but we never felt that we were ghetto people because we always had what we needed. (laughs) And um, I went to Charles A. Brown and Columbus Street, and we had such a tight-knit community there. And one of the things that we were always taught was that we can excel and we could, could reach higher goals. I went through some things uh, trying to get to my goals, but I got through it because I had mentors and I had a mother and I had people at my church and who surrounded me with um, empowering words. And I know the power of mentorship. I know the power of empowering people around you who are pressing you on. And I know that if honestly, if every single child could have at least one positive influence in his or her life, it could change the world. I can hear the passion in your voice. So tell me what, how it makes you feel when you see all of these girls in one room. Oh my goodness. It is just absolutely, it's, it's, it's beyond my, um, really what I could have even thought or imagined to tell you the truth, because we started out thinking we would serve at least 300 through the dream girls, and we ended up with thousands. And um, that lets you know that the message is resonating with them. It's reaching not only their ears, but it's reaching their hearts. Mm. And what is the age range of these young ladies? We target middle and high school girls, but as I said, People have begged and asked when we have the in-person conference, please let me bring my younger daughter. She's being exposed to some things that it's just too mature and she needs to learn the right way. We don't block anybody. We let the parents and the uh, guardians make the choice of who they would like to be in this conference. There have been parents that have walked away with tips and with motivation that help them turn their lives around. So. It's open for anybody who's got an open heart and a listening ear. So tell us how the registration process goes. You can register for the conference, which will be on uh, Saturday, March the 12th. Um, You can register at um, dreamgirlsus.org. And you could also register on our website, other website, which is uh, yescouncil.org. Org, dot org. Uh, we are on Facebook. It's facebook.com Dream Girls Conference. And you can contact us at 843-767-9969. Uh, for the, uh, after the conference, Jackie Bruton, as I said, will be in the schools. So you could check with your middle and high school to see what, uh, when she would be on the schedule to speak um, for that event. For mentoring, you can do the same thing. If you want your girls to be a part of our mentoring program, you could also contact us at those um, ne- and through those networks. Okay, so is there a time frame for people to start registering for next year? We're not we're not set up for next year yet, um, but they can definitely register for the the mentoring program. Okay, so give us your final words. To the to the those that are viewing, um, how they can assist you or help you in any way to push this forward. Glad you asked that. <laughs> what we would appreciate is that everybody who's hearing this, you, you know of of a, a someone who has a a girl or a, their in their a, a little girl in their life. You know of a young lady. You know of somebody at your church, community, school. Tell them about the conference. It's uh, and have them to register. That's all they have to do. It's going to be featured on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel, which is Dream Girls US. And all they have to do is register and if they have questions, but they could help us push it by just telling people about it. And even if you don't know of any young ladies or girls in your life um, that would benefit from this, you can benefit from it because you'll be uplifted by being a part of this exciting event, as well as the speakers in the schools. Well, Ms. Rosalind Fields, with the title Dream Girls, it says to me that you all believe that young ladies do have dreams and that they can be accomplished. Most definitely. Everybody's got something deep on the inside of them 
that they're dreaming to be and dreaming about. Yes. Well, Ms. Rosalind Fields, we say thank you for being on Bounce Around Charleston and sharing about the conference of Dream Girls US. Thank you for being here today. Thank you so much. Okay, you heard it right here on Bounce Around Charleston, Dream Girls US. And Ms. Rosalind Fields said, get ready for next year. Listen for the time and place and when it's time for registration because she wants your young ladies to be there. Okay, we'll be right back after this break.